Ever wonder how something like Bitcoin, just digital code, can be worth thousands of dollars? It might seem unbelievable that lines of code and digital tokens can hold so much value, especially when you can't physically touch or hold them like cash or gold. It seems strange, but it's all about what backs it. Unlike traditional money, which is often backed by governments or physical assets, cryptocurrencies are supported by technology, trust, and a global community. At its core, cryptocurrency is digital money. But unlike your bank account, there's no central authority in charge. No single bank, company, or government controls it, which is a big shift from what we're used to. Instead, it runs on a decentralized network using blockchain, a public ledger that records every transaction for all to see. This technology is the backbone of crypto, making it open and transparent. Think of it as a global, tamper-proof spreadsheet that anyone can access, but no one can secretly change. Every transaction is visible, and the system is designed to be secure and fair for everyone. Transactions are verified by computers, solving complex puzzles, making fraud nearly impossible. This process, called mining, keeps the network honest and running smoothly, without needing a middleman. There's no CEO, no central office, just a worldwide network open to anyone with internet. People from all walks of life in every corner of the globe help keep the system alive and secure. This system puts financial power back in your hands. You are your own bank. You control your money, your transactions, and your privacy without relying on traditional institutions. That's why people get excited about crypto. It's about control, transparency, and a new kind of trust. It's a revolution in how we think about and use money. Understanding this foundation is key to grasping why crypto has value. The more you learn about what backs crypto, the more you'll see why it's capturing the world's imagination. So, why do people want crypto? For some, it's a lifeline, protection against unstable currencies or governments. For others, it's an investment, hoping for big returns as prices rise. Many treat Bitcoin like digital gold, scarce, valuable, and worth holding on to. But crypto is more than just money. It's powering a new internet, Web3, where you can build apps, own digital art, or lend money without a bank. And for millions, it's about fast, cheap, global transactions, sending money anywhere in minutes, not days. Whether for freedom, profit, or utility, these reasons drive demand, and demand drives value. That's why everyone wants a piece. What gives crypto its price? Why do some coins skyrocket while others fade away? The answer lies in understanding the core elements that drive value in the world of digital assets. There are four main pillars, scarcity, decentralization, utility, and demand. Each one plays a crucial role in shaping the price and long-term potential of any cryptocurrency. Scarcity. Bitcoin, for example, is capped at 21 million coins. No more, ever. This hard limit is written into its code. Like gold or rare collectibles, a limited supply means each coin can become more valuable as more people want it. Decentralization, no single person, company or government controls the network. Instead, trust is distributed across thousands of computers worldwide. The rules are enforced by code, not by a central authority, making the system more resilient and transparent. Utility, crypto is only valuable if you can actually use it, whether it's sending money across borders, running decentralized apps, buying digital art like NFTs or accessing new financial tools, real-world use cases drive adoption and value. Demand, the more people want to use or own a cryptocurrency, the higher its price can go. Hype, news and innovation can all fuel demand, making prices rise or fall rapidly. If any pillar weakens, the value can wobble or even collapse. But when all four are strong and working together, the value of crypto can soar to new heights, supporting a thriving ecosystem. These four factors explain both the wild price swings you see day to day and the long-term potential that excites investors and innovators alike. Understanding these pillars is key to making sense of the crypto market, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned trader. It's not magic, it's a new kind of value, built on technology, trust, and a global community working together. That's the secret behind the numbers you see on the screen, an ecosystem powered by scarcity, decentralization, utility, and demand. Let's zoom in on Bitcoin, the original crypto king. Its value comes from two things, digital scarcity and decentralized trust. Before Bitcoin, digital scarcity was impossible. Files could be copied endlessly. Bitcoin's blockchain solved this, making each coin unique and limited. 
New bitcoins are created through mining, but the reward halves every four years, slowing supply until it stops around 2140. This predictable scarcity is why people call it digital gold. But scarcity alone isn't enough. Trust matters. Bitcoin's network has run non-stop for over 15 years, never hacked at its core. Thousands of computers verify every transaction, making cheating nearly impossible. That's why people trust Bitcoin as a store of value outside traditional finance. To really understand what gives crypto its value, let's start by comparing it to the money we use every day, like the US dollar. Most of us are used to cash, credit cards and bank accounts, all tied to traditional currencies. Dollars are what's called fiat money. They're valuable because the government says they are, not because they're backed by something physical like gold. Their worth is based on trust in the system. Governments can print more dollars whenever they want which sometimes leads to inflation and can slowly eat away at your savings over time. Crypto, on the other hand, flips this model on its head. Instead of relying on government promises, crypto's value comes from computer code and decentralized networks. It's a new way to create trust, one that doesn't depend on any single authority. Take Bitcoin, for example. Its supply is fixed and predictable. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins. No one can secretly create more, and the rules are set in code for everyone to see. That's why some people see Bitcoin as a safer store of value, especially if they are worried about inflation or losing trust in traditional money. But there's a catch. Crypto's price can swing wildly. It's driven by open market demand, not by any central bank or government. News stories, new regulations, or even a single tweet from a celebrity can send prices soaring or crashing in minutes, making it unpredictable. So the real question is, do you put your trust in traditional institutions or do you believe in the power of technology and code to protect your money? That's the debate at the heart of crypto's value. And it's a conversation that's only just beginning. Why do people believe in crypto? It's a bet on a new financial system, open, global and run by code, not committees. Crypto's value comes from collective belief and adoption. The more people use it, the more useful and valuable it becomes. As businesses accept crypto and developers build new apps, its ecosystem grows stronger, but risks remain. Government crackdowns, security breaches, or better technology could shake its value. Crypto is still an experiment, part technology, part psychology, part economics. Its future depends on trust, utility, and the willingness of millions to keep building and believing. For now, it's one of the world's most exciting and unpredictable assets. The story of crypto's value is still being written every day by all of us.